Instagram project. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, like in 2012, I was sitting down and I was like, you know what? I've had so many jobs. I'm just gonna make a list of all the jobs I've ever had. And at that point, I was like, holy shit, I've had like 68 jobs. Um, now I've had 85, so <laughs> I've had almost 100 jobs. Why, you ask? It's because of some magical combination of uh, ADD, um, disrespect for authority, <laughs> and uh, what my therapist once called chronic feelings of being better than this. <laughs> uh, um, so actually, it's funny because um, I actually thought of three jobs last night that I didn't think of before, so I put them on the list. Um, so how this works is I have... <gasps> Oh. Oh. I have a magical work bag, and in the work bag is a, a little tiny slip of, slip of paper is every single job I've ever had. Um, and one of you will volunteer to pick one of those slips of paper out, and I will tell you a story about that job off the dome. Um, and then uh, after that, you're going to have a gorgeous improv team do a set based off that story for about 15 minutes. Um, we have three amazing teams tonight. We have Gusher. We have Hi Baby Gorgeous. And Mind Reader. I booked well this month. <laughs> um, one cool thing about this is that uh, you will never see the same job every show, obviously. <laughs> So every time a job is pulled, it stays out of the bag forever. So you won't hear about my time at Panera. You won't hear about my time as a murder mystery dinner theater person. Oh, I know. Oh. And you won't hear about the time I was a bagger at Kroger. Oh. Um, but anyway, they are retired now. So without further ado, um, who would like to pull the first job from my magical bag? <laughs> what do you got? Okay, <laughs> a decorator. Oh. Oh. No. So, I will. <laughs> All right, so this is like barely a job. I did it twice um, as like an experiment. I was like, maybe I want to, I'm going to work for myself. I want to strike out. I was like, you know what I have is excellent taste. Um, and I'm going to ask some people if they want, so back up, I was a realtor at the time. So I was like, I have a waiting audience of people that have empty homes that they need to put shit in. So I was like, I'll just tell everyone that I interact with uh, in a realtor way that I'm like, hey, by the way, I can also decorate your place. Um, <laughs> so uh, one of the people that I got uh, fooled um, was this lady who was a harp teacher. And she wanted to redo her master bedroom. And uh, I had these huge, I was like, they were very into science and like space and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Your baby's nursery has um, like clumps of clay that they formed like planets like on the wall to be like 3D. Um, they looked really bad, <laughs> but it was a baby's room and they had fun doing it, so it's fine. Um, and I was like, you know, you guys like space so much. Would you like a space theme, but like more grown up for the master bedroom? And she's like, definitely. So, <laughs> so I mean, my ideas are fire, um, but she was like rejecting everyone. And then I learned that, uh, I should have covered this first. They had a budget of $300. Oh. Um, so she was like, well, 100 of those dollars we are gonna pay you. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I'll go to the thrift store. And she's like, oh no, no, I don't like that kind of stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay, so um, we're gonna paint. And so I was like, let's do this dramatic paint. It'll really like seal the deal with this room, you know, like a dramatic, look at this room, look at this dramatic black. Um, <laughs> just a, dramatic, uh, a dramatic paint color. Um, and they were like, no, you know what? That's just too extreme. So we went with like a basically white blue. Um, and I was at every suggestion getting torn apart and $200 on the budget. And I was just like, you know what? I fucking hate this. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do this ever again. So um, let's see. That is my job as a decorator. 